So Mongolia's environment is relatively very pristine, and we have a number of very ecologically important areas that are not only important for Mongolia, but also for the region and for the world. We have about 17% of our country already uh, preserved as protected areas and national parks, and we also have a traditional nomadic livestock herding, which directly pretty much depends on pastures and on the na nature as well. At the same time, especially in the last five, six years, our economic economy is growing very fast based on the uh, resources and mining. That's why now that Mongolia's economy is growing very fast, we have to be very, very careful. And because it's growing mostly based on mining, which is pretty much brown industry, we have to be especially very careful to have a very environmentally friendly growth. And uh, the revenues, we're, we're having more revenues coming from the mining. Our budget, the GDP has grown up maybe 10 times uh, since uh, 1998. Also, our budget is going up. And therefore, currently, there is a huge uh, plans. The, there are investments or also plans to invest in infrastructure, in energy, in roads. But also, there is a big migration to the cities. And there is a big ur urbanization taking place. So we'll have a lot of housing projects as well. And that's why I think now that all this planning and projects are starting, it's very important to have green elements from, the, from now on uh, during the planning, but also during the starting of the projects, because the decisions uh, that are made now will impact our environmental footprint for the next 30, 40 years. And that's why it's very important for us to have green elements in our decisions, and that's why we're aspiring for green development and green growth. So um, in 2012, which is a year ago, we passed the package of environmental legislations where we upgraded the environmental rehabilitation and other standards. And for the first time we introduced polluter pay principle. So for example, um, from next year on, industries will have to start paying water pollution fees. But at the same time we introduced a number of elements where we're promoting and giving tax deductions and incentives for cleaner technology and cleaner equipment, for example. There is a list of equipment and technologies that is, will have a zero tax on the sales, like a profit, uh, zero profits tax. Now, uh, we also introduced, um, we drafted, adopted by the cabinet, but now it's in the discussion in the parliament, green development strategy for the country. So we are aspiring, now that Mongolia is growing, we are aspiring to have more environmentally friendly and greener growth, especially because mining is one of our major industries of growth. And that's why we, um, uh, once the green development strategy is approved by the parliament, we are hoping to get it approved by the end of this year, then we will have a different sectors plan how to turn from a brown sector, brown economy into more green economy. So also we are currently discussing energy efficiently, energy efficiency legislation in the parliament. Um, we do already have a carbon tax, that is where one of the main exporters of coal in the region. So we have a, a coal export tax and the revenues that come from the coal export tax go into clean air fund and, uh, and it exists for the last three years and it's expended on improving the air quality in the capital city but also in other provincial centers. I think it's a, currently it's a very crucial time for both the world but also especially for the developing and emerging economies as I was mentioning before. Currently these decisions are made on investing in huge infrastructure projects and housing, but also in other development projects. Our planet is really struggling to sustain and bear this global increase in the population, but also global increase in energy and resources demand, all this uh, global uh, increase in urbanization and consumption as well. And that's why it's really crucial and high time. Otherwise, it will, it's almost late, you know, uh, to make the um, uh, rational decisions now, so it's very important to invest now into green, environmentally friendly policies. Mm -hmm. We're looking from GGGI for the knowledge, 
solutions, uh, the best technology choices. You know, knowledge is always um, power. It takes time to put those solutions and knowledge together. And especially now that we're trying to transit to more greener development strategy, it's very important to have this knowledge, experience and solutions. And we're looking for the knowledge sharing. And um, the, uh, currently, you know, um, in, in the current globalized world, I think knowledge is one of the top investments that anybody can make. So we're looking for that.